All right, so we're going to solve this equation, this example, uh, using this equation. The main things are to get area naught and the total internal surface area. So I'm going to minimize this just so I can see the, the size. So our heat release rate for this example is 400 kilowatts. Our H sub K, 0 0.025. Uh, all right, so we need the length, the width, and the height of the compartment. So the length is going to be 3.66 meters. The width is going to be 2.6 meters, and the height is 2.5. Or four meters. Uh, the, the width of the door is 0 0.77 meters. The height of the door is 2.05 meters. That means the area of the door is equal to the width of the door times the height of the door and this is meter squared so then the total internal surface area is equal to 2 times side 1 times 2 times side 2 or 2 times side 1 plus 2 times side 2 uh, plus uh, 2 times the top minus the door so this is 2 times uh, side 1 is going to be uh, 2.44 times 3.66 plus 2 times 2.44 times 2.6 plus 2 times the top which is going to be 2.6 times 3.66 minus the door. And that's what we got. And then our ambient temperature was 298 Kelvin. So our upper layer gas temperature is going to be equal to the ambient temperature plus 6.85 let me remember 6.85 heat loose rate squared okay 6.85 times the quantity uh, heat release rate squared squared divided by the quantity area not the area of the door times the square root SQRT uh, the height of the door times the effective heat transfer coefficient times the total internal surface area of the compartment and that all raised to the one third power That's what we got in our example, right? 546, okay.